Okay, good afternoon everyone. Izzy here and uh, I am uh, working now <laughs> on this uh, project of, uh, you know, cooling the water. I, I got the uh, hydroponic system on automatic uh, water feeding and automatic um, uh, nutrition uh, feeding, you know, it's automatically dosing. I got those two working perfect. Um, a lot of my plants have been uh, uh, dying because the temperature out here in Miami uh, or Hollandale has been hitting 90 degrees. The water is way too hot and it's been uh, creating um, root rot. So um, I've been trying to do some kind of a refrigeration uh, system to lower the uh, temperature. The problem is, is that I didn't want to use a, uh, a water chiller, one, because they're very expensive, you know, for a good quality one, and two, because um, you still get, like, algae and fungus growth inside the tank. I didn't want to have to deal with having to clean it out and, you know, use harsh chemicals, which, of course, takes away from the organic side of the, uh, of the, uh, the water so you know I just I, I just didn't want to do it that way so what I did was um, with no further ado I'm going to show you guys okay so what I did was I went ahead and and got this um, small water cooler uh, this uh, little water cooler was donated to me by a good friend of mine uh, Enrique Sanchez Enrique thank you so much for the donation anyways uh, basically what I did last night is I took the uh, unit completely apart um, and uh, you know the, the where you put the bottle which is up here I took that out and there's a can a stainless steel can that's wrapped around by a coil which is this coil here I'm going to show you this coil here you see that coil which is immersed now in the uh, water which soon is going to be the nutrient anyways uh, so what's happening is is I have it plugged in and you can see now, wait a second, I'm gonna show you guys. Thing fell off here. Okay, you can see right now that the temperature in the water right now is 85.5 degrees. I just plugged it in. And the thing is running right now. And uh, yeah, basically what I'm gonna do is, uh, I was telling Enrique last night, is uh, I'm just gonna leave it on until, wait a second. Show you that's the probe. God damn it. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, anyways, so the probe wasn't stuck in there. So right now the probe is inside the tank. You can see it's 85 degrees. I'm gonna leave it uh, inside the tank. And the way I'm gonna control, uh, I took out the thermostat because you know when when my friend gave it to me, I guess he didn't realize but the thing wasn't working because the thermostat was damaged, which is uh, right here. See, that's all the parts and stuff. But anyways, here's here's the thermostat. This thermostat was no good, and it was causing the thing not to work. So anyways, I took it out. I bypassed it. So basically, it's um, it's set up now direct. So there's the compressor. Uh, compressor. Here's the uh, condenser, and here's the evaporator going inside. I modified it to go inside the tank. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to leave it running. Uh, when it gets down, uh, I'm going to get a unit, so let me explain. Uh, I'm going to purchase a unit uh, on Amazon that basically uh, has a probe and um, what it does is when it hits, you, you plug it in, you know, you plug it in to the, uh, to the, to the AC, the voltage, and um, uh, when the temperature gets down to the desired temperature that I want, like let's say 68 degrees, it shuts the machine, you know, the compressor off. And uh, then when the temperature starts to climb back up, then, uh, you know, like I put it, let's say 73 degrees, then the machine kicks back on. And this way I can regulate the, uh, the temperature in the tank. Uh, so basically, that's it. That's uh, the whole deal. I'm very excited now that I know it's, this is going to work. Um, I, I'll, I'll do a little short video to show everyone uh, the uh, the result of the uh, temperature dropping but yes it is gonna drop so anyways uh, thanks again to my friend Enrique and his wife for making this little donation and uh, if you have any uh, comments or suggestions leave them down below have a great day